Ignite. I hope you've had a really good week this week. I hope you've enjoyed the sunshine. I know on Friday, the sun was absolutely lovely. I even managed to get outside just wearing a t-shirt for a little while, which was great. Obviously, I had trousers on as well. I hope you had a really lovely week this week. And I wonder if you can remember who we've been learning about or who we've started to learn about in our stories. That's right, we've been learning about Joseph. Not the Joseph in the story of Christmas, of Mary and Joseph, but Joseph who was in the Bible a long, 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 long time before that in the book of Genesis. Now, last week we learned about the dreams that Joseph had and how he didn't really get along very well with his brothers. And we left the story when he was thrown into the pit and then taken away as a slave to Egypt. Now, this week, we're carrying on that story to find out what happened when he got to Egypt. And there are some videos underneath this video, as usual, for you to be able to watch. So you can watch the videos and then come back. Are you ready? Three, two, one, off you go. I hope that you enjoyed those videos and they were useful to you for the story. Now, in the videos that you watched, some of them may have gone up to Pharaoh's dreams. But today, we're just thinking up to the time that Joseph was in prison and those two prisoners had the dreams as well. They were the butler and the baker. And they both had some strange dreams. Hmm. Have you ever had funny dreams? Last night, I had a really funny dream, actually, that me and my brother were in the town where we grew up and we went to some weird festival at night with lots of lights um, hanging from the lampposts, a bit like at Christmas. But then there were all these really strange games that you had to play and you had to throw darts at things. It was really odd. And then my alarm went off and woke me up. So I don't know what happened. Now, sometimes God can speak to us and tell us things in our dreams. I don't think that God was speaking to me in my strange dream about going to this fair thing with Chris, with my brother. But sometimes God can speak to us. And your mums and dads might be able to tell you about a time that God has spoken to them in a dream. But God also gives gifts to people to understand what those dreams mean. And that is one of the special gifts that God gave to Joseph. So all the time that Joseph was in prison and working as a slave for Potiphar and all the awful things that happened, all that time God had a plan for Joseph and it was through those dreams of the baker and the butler and Joseph understanding those dreams that God's plan was worked out, which we will see next week when we learn about Pharaoh's dreams, how God's plan was worked out. And that's what I would like you to remember this week, that God has a plan for your life and God has a good plan for you. Even when those bad things happen and things happen that aren't so great, God still has a really good plan for your life because he loves you so, so much. And that's what I want you to remember this week. So we're going to pray now and I would like to pray for you that you remember that God has a plan for you. Okay, are you ready? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you were with Joseph even when he was in prison and even in the really difficult bad times. Thank you, God, that you had a plan for his life and your plan was a good plan because you, the Bible tells us that you only have good plans for us. Thank you that you love us and thank you that you care for us. Thank you that you have a plan for every single person who is watching this video because you love them and care for them so, so much. And I pray that they will know that this week and have a really lovely week. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you have a really lovely week and I look forward to speaking to some of you guys very, very soon.